Hi guys, it's Danny. Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to do another 12 by 12 uh, layout process video for you guys. I am mixing uh, like three or four different lines. Um, it's going to be Amy Tangerine, um, her newest one, Finders Keepers, and it's going to be this happy, I think it's called Happy Things from Pink Fresh Studio. Um, also, I'm going to mix in some of the Wander collection from Crate Paper. What else do I use? I think those are the three main, yeah, those are the three main uh, collections that I use. I do pull in a few scraps that I wanted to get used up, um, which I, if there's anything I don't say specifically, just slow down the video, pause it, and you can like see exactly what it's titled. Oh yeah, I use a tiny bit of the My Mind's Eye. Um, and I can't recall exactly uh, something story, I want to say. Maybe love story. It's one of their newest lines from My Mind's Eye with the gold foiling. Really pretty. I do mix a little bit of that in, pull some of the chipboard from that. Okay, so now I'm going through um, all these different pieces. I pulled, of course, way more than I'm going to use. But I really just wasn't sure where I was going to go with this. I was just kind of freewheeling it. And I decide on this, I don't know, is it feathers or leaves? Yeah, leaves, feathers. It's uh, Amy Tan paper, and I love it. It's so pretty. And I had trimmed this down quite a bit because I knew I wanted um, whatever, you know, page I decided to go with. I knew I wanted a lot of the background to show. Um, you know, I wanted there to be a pretty big border. I used some of that, what is it called, uh, Ranger, the Pink Dabber, the Blue Ribbon. I love this blue. It is so pretty. And I love the blue in Amy Tan's line. It's just gorgeous. I'm so happy to see more blue in, you know, a few of the lines. Uh, I just decided I wanted to bring pops of black in, so I'm going to ink my edges. I'm not sure if I show it on camera, but I also ink the edges around the Amy around the whole, like that big piece with the, I don't, I keep wanting to say feathers, but I think it might be leaves. Uh, but anyway, I also ink the edges with black around the whole border. And that is just a branding strip with really cute arrows on it with all the, you know, just with orange and blue. And it's again from Amy Tan. So just really reinforcing the color scheme. Yeah. What am I doing now? Oh, just tacking it down. Um, these are me and my niece. We went to dinner. Um, we went to dinner a couple, like two weeks ago. And uh, yeah, I did this page about two weeks ago and I am just now getting to the voiceover. Um, but hey, I'm getting to it, right? Let's see. Uh, I know I wanted to put a piece of this vellum paper. I think that's from a DCWV that I had won from Oh Yeah, It's Jen. Really pretty, like all these little vellum, six by six vellum stack. And so it has like little tiny black stars on it and it's vellum. And yeah, I just wanted to bring that in. And then the piece behind it, I just edged, um, what do you call it, with the Blue Lagoon from Tim Holtz. One of his newer uh, Distress inks. And rounded the corners. And now, yeah, I'm kind of running low on my, I, I pretty much ran out of the bigger pop dots, so it's going to take me a second to get all these little ones off to give my, I like popping up my pictures. I do that quite often. Not all the time, but yeah, quite a bit because I really, I don't know. I just like the dimension. I, I, I just think it helps the pictures stay the focus, you know, of attention in a sense, um, if that makes any sense. <laughs> Sometimes I can't talk. I don't know. What can I tell you? I am going to mess with this cut apart from Amy Tan. And I love that sheet. You guys are going to watch me mess with it. And then I don't think it, yeah, it doesn't end up making it to the page, which I don't know. I think I just did it and then got sidetracked because I constantly do that. I see something else and then, yeah, and then my brain goes, oh, that looks good. And then I forget about whatever it was. So anyway, I this is just a little branding strip and it just has like all the colors of the collection and just a tiny, tiny little touch of it. So I just thought I'd 
put another little layer there. Here's the pink, lovely. And I don't know why I changed my mind. I honestly think I might have just forgotten about it. Anyway, I love how the page ends up turning out, so it's no big deal. And I know that lovely is going to end up on another layout, like absolutely no problem, because I use pink quite a lot. And, you know, it'll easily be used. I love these thickers. They're from her finder's keeper, Amy Tan's finder's keeper. See, you're going to see me bring in some more, um, like what it was at Wonder and also the My Mind's Eye. I'm just grabbing some different pieces of chipboard. And what am I doing here? Sometimes when you pull the chipboard off, it, the sticky, I mean, the whole thing comes off, so there's no sticky, which I don't mind. It really doesn't bother me at all because then you can move it around anyway. And again, you're going to watch me mess with this heart because I decide I want it popped up and then I'm still going to pull it up again. It's going to end up pretty much in that spot. I think I'm just going to put it over the picture and put some more pop dots on it. Now I'm trying to mess with the title. I knew I wanted to use some of these big words. And I was just trying to see how many I could fit and where, you know, how it would be, you know. So, yes, it ends up being cute, happy love. <laughs> and then I end up putting joy at the end. You'll see. Yeah, I get a little crazy sometimes with my, like, die cuts and embellishments, but I really do. Even though there's a lot on the page and it's busy, it's just me. <laughs> you know, I'm my style isn't going to be everyone's style. And it's so funny because the neck, I think the next one I'm going to show you, my next process video, I, like, purposely tried to chill and leave more white space. <laughs> so my next layout will be, you know, for some people they'll like it better because there's a lot more white space and not quite so much going on. But this page just absolutely makes me happy. I love a lot of embellishments. I love a lot of color. I love a lot of dimension. And I still feel like it all relates to my picture. It all relates to what I say and to the feeling and the story and the vibes. So... Yeah, for me, more is more. <laughs> and I've said that before. Here I am, finally. I have it the way I like it. Does anyone else do that? Anyway, it's finally with the right amount of pop dots and overlapping the picture. <laughs> so silly, some of the things. And I'm sorry, but obviously I've moved. I used to have markings of where I could, you know, like where the videotape would be so I wouldn't cut off my page but somehow I've yeah they've come up they were like washi pieces of washi tape and they just came on they're not there anymore basically and I'm sorry because I'm off camera see this is where I got sidetracked I found these cute little tags because I was going through the ephemera and you know what I just really love them anyway I mean, it's so perfect. She was so happy. My niece was, like, so happy. She just wanted to go to this this place called Casa de Guadalajara. It's in Old Town. It's awesome. Like, years ago, I actually had my rehearsal dinner there. It's been one of my favorite restaurants forever. So when I found out my niece loved it, too, we were so, like, that's where we're going. And we were, like, super excited. And she was just so happy because she got her fried ice cream. And this is a picture of her d diving into her fried ice cream and then the other one is a picture of um the guys came around doing the music I always forget what the title is of that you know when you go to Mexican restaurants and they play you the beautiful music with their guitars and sing to you and anyway I cannot think of the exact name but you know yeah so I took a picture of her with one of the main guitar guy it was so funny we had such a blast and then this and then um this lady next to us was like, she was just so cute. I think she was on vacation with her husband. She was like, oh, I want to take pictures with you guys because she saw, you know, me and Vanessa taking pictures. And it was just so sweet. It was so cute. It was a good time. I love that place. And I hadn't been there in years. So it was awesome. Cannot wait to go back. I used one of the tassels. I used some more uh, ephemera. I love those tassels. That's from Wander. And then... um I'm going to use that multimedia matte glue um, to put on this, what do you call it, translucent piece from the ephemera from Amy Tan. I am going to add joy, I believe. Yes. 
This is from the Pink Fresh Studio. I think, I believe it's called Happy Things. Love it. Such a cute line. And these are so like sparkly with that chunky black glitter. They're so much cuter in person, you guys. If you don't have them, you need to get them in your life. <laughs> They're awesome. And then I decided to add another heart over there. And I don't show it on camera, but I add one more black heart up by the by the happy and a couple enamel dots. So you will see those in the still pictures. I'm just doing my journaling just a tiny bit. So she brings me joy and I love her very much. And then I also wrote at the very, very bottom, Casa de Guadalajara and the date, which was September 27th, 2015. So I did write that in. I hope you all have a great day. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Please subscribe and I will see you on my next process video. Bye guys.